flute or the air con, which is a very simplified flute, we have a wavelength something like this. So in this case, the wavelength is set by, so it's proportional to the length of the pipe. Now, as the temperature goes up, the length of the pipe will change a little bit. So we will have the change in length is equal to the length times alpha times delta t. But these alphas are generally of order 10 to the minus 6. So this thing is a very small change. And so the wavelength is really not changing very much. It's got a very small increase. Now, the velocity of sound, velocity is equal to the initial velocity over the new temperature over the initial temperature. So the velocity does increase as the temperature increases. So we have V is equal to F lambda. This is increasing. This is increasing just a little bit. And so this tells us that the frequency must increase as the temperature increases. Now on a violin string, we have that the length of the violin string does change due to the same reason here. The change in length is equal to length alpha delta t. So in this case, this is actually a more significant change compared to the other things. The velocity of the wave on the string is given by the square root of the tension over the mass per unit length. Now we're not changing the tension, that's fixed on the violin by the little pegs at the end. Mu, the mass per unit length, is going to decrease a little bit as the length is decreasing, but this has got the square root here. So as this decreases, the velocity will increase just a little bit. But this length tells us how the wavelength increases because the length is equal to lambda over 2. So the wavelength increases a lot compared to the change in the velocity. So V is equal to F lambda. And if the wavelength is increasing a lot and the velocity is only increasing a little bit, then the frequency must decrease as the temperature increases.